Yes, Your Honor. Um, you know, this matter, you know, this matter was um, you know, a while back, Your Honor, in twenty in, in twenty twenty. Um, you know, this was a legitimation action um with um petition for le legitimation to establish custody, child support, and visitation. Um Your Honor, when we went to court, Your Honor, we filed a motion to compel, I think, in that case. Your Honor, and opposing side, the defendant did not respond. Your Honor, per that order, Your Honor, um, we end up filing a petition. Uh, the petitioner ended up filing a motion for contempt, Your Honor, um, because the the court order that we end up filing a, a motion for contempt, Your Honor, because the the defendant owed uh, two thousand seven hundred and fifty five dollars and forty cents of attorney fees. Damn! Damn! Your Honor, I think that was encompassed because she failed to respond to the motion to compel. Um, and the judge and Judge Barry granted me um, that motion. Um, and, Your Honor, we attached it to the plaintiff's motion for incarceration. Your Honor, that was attached as Exhibit A. Um, Your Honor, since that time, Your Honor, we've appeared before Judge Barry a few times, Your Honor. And surprisingly, this is the first time a, a, a Ms. Lott has appeared since that petition, since our trial in 2020. Um, Your Honor, I've tried to reach out to Ms. Lott a few times, Your Honor, to no avail. Your Honor, she's been included on all of the email correspondence with the court. Your Honor, she's willfully failed and refused to pay the attorney fees. Um, Your Honor, last time we were in court, I think Judge Judge Berry, um, I thought she granted um, the contempt and uh, and stated that um because we did request for uh, incarceration your honor and um i guess we're here and just we we're asking that miss lot is incarcerated until the $2755.40 is paid your honor and your honor i am asking for attorney fees for today um your honor and even me having to file this motion and continue to i guess seek attorney fees from miss lot your honor what are you asking for for today? Your Honor, for your, your Honor, for today, Your Honor, I'm asking for $1,500, Your Honor. And I can provide my affidavit to the court, Your Honor. We had to communicate with the court, Your Honor. I've been practicing law since 2008, Your Honor. I've been in good standing since that time. Your Honor, I charge my client a flat fee of the $1,500 just to try to see, um, just so we can file this motion for incarceration. So this lady just refuses to pay her attorney fees. What a scumbag. I, I don't get why somebody would hire someone and then just stiff them like that. Mm -hmm. All right, Ms. Lott. <coughs> Raise your right hand. You swear or affirm the evidence you're about to present in the matter and here should be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Your Honor, are you judging me? <laughs> I, you want to call it that, but I, I assume you want to testify on your own behalf. Yes, I do. And um, if the, the attorney is not going to be sworn in, that is a conflict of interest. And I have filed motions. I filed a quote warranto um, because... I have searched for law licenses and I have not found any. There's been no true judges since 1789 and the United States filed a chapter 11 in 1933, which lost their sovereignty as a government. So this, I can't even be heard here. I have asked the court to provide me documentation stating that this is an article three court. Um, I have not gotten anything back from the judge um, with, uh, any type of documentation from the attorney general, from the secretary of state, you guys have not had permission to try me and no law is above God's law. So I cannot honor any of your laws. It supersedes every single law that you guys have given me. I have tried to settle this in court. I have filed a fiduciary relationship. Um, uh, 56. I am friends with the IRS. I have attempted to settle with the $20 money order because there is no money. Um, with the court and everything was sent back. So rejection of payment is payment, Your Honor. And my sh religion strongly prohibits any satanic laws or rituals, and I cannot serve two masters. So um, either I don't even know what uh, to do here in this matter because I have acts to be tried in an Article Three court. This is not a court of equity. God's law trumps all laws made by man. 
God also says no man should be judged or you will be judged. Excuse me, ma'am, but what in the doohickey are you talking about? You just said a bunch of sovereign citizen nonsense. This is my religion. I have not broken any of God's laws. I have not um, committed any crimes. I have not harmed my offspring. I am the first lien holder on my child's um, estate. So there is nothing that I can do for Miss LaFleur. And I will not be paying it because my God told me not to. He gave me the instructions on what to do. And you guys refused it. You guys refused my quo warranto because it wasn't written in the way that you accept it, but I am not under your laws. I have, I am friends with the IRS. I have sent out my documentation. I have my own contract with myself. I don't have a contract with you guys. I have not signed anything and I am not a 14th amendment corporate war citizen. I am a natural person. That is what I have to say. You have any questions for Ms. Locke or Ms. St. Fleur? Um, yes, Ms. Lott, were you present in court during for the petition for a legitimation with Tariq Crump? Crump? Ms. LaFleur, can you provide me your It's St. Fleur. It's St. Fleur, it's not LaFleur. If you're gonna if we're gonna quote all of these articles, make sure you get my name right. It's St. Fleur. St. Fleur. It's St. Fleur, uh-huh. Which is were you in court? I mean, I'm not sure if any of the articles could tell me, but were you in court? questions. I have no further answers for any of your questions. I said what I said. This law does not trump God's law. I'm under God's law and that's it. Well, anything further, Ms. St. Fleur? No, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Lott, we have an order that was entered back on uh, February 13th of this year saying you had 10 days to pay this $2,755.40. you have any proof that any payment was made? I have the proof here, and this was sent back to me. This is right. the money order that I sent to the court. That's Your that law $20 thing you said? Yes, it is. That is the settlement that is in, written in your laws. I did send the um, thing. They sent it back, and refusal of payment is payment, so I will handle it with the IRS from here. Well, $20 doesn't doesn't equal two thousand seven fifty five forty. Or any court fees cannot supersede two twenty dollars, and that is what I paid as a natural person. I don't know about any U.S. citizen. I'm not a U.S. citizen. I'm a natural person and a private American. I wouldn't go as far as considering yourself a natural person. I would consider you a natural fool. Okay. Mr. Crump, who is a U.S. citizen, however, has uh, also uh, violated the own court order that he brought into matter because my child is supposed to go to school in DeKalb County and he decided that he wasn't going to do that, Your Honor. This man is abusive and at this point I am over this whole situation. Well, that's not before the court today. Yep. Because, I mean, at this point, I'll take it up with God. I've not committed any crimes under God's law. I have not stolen. I have not buried false witnesses. I have not killed anyone. I have not dishonored my mother and my father. And I have not put any man before God. And I will not put any of you guys before God either. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Tyreek, back up. Mm -mm. Go back in there. What? 
Lord, Miss Lott, I'm going to find you in contempt of court for failure to pay the $2,755.40. Order you incar incarcerated, uh, that is jailed, until uh, you've paid the money. I will be taking it up with the IRS and I will be filing liens because you guys do not have liens over myself, my estate, or my child. So You'll take it up with the sheriff first. Oh, I will not because the sheriff does not have any jurisdiction. <laughs> Turn not yourself in or the sheriff will come out and arrest you. <laughs> jurisdiction over me and the sheriff does not have any jurisdiction over That's me fine. once you're released i'll give you 90 days to pay an additional 1500 dollars uh, for attorney's fees incurred by the plaintiff uh, for today's proceeding and i'll ask miss st fluid to submit the order we'll do your honor and include in that the sheriff will notify the court when uh, Ms. lott has been arrested can you guys provide me with uh, evidence that you are Article Three court and not a military court? And we'll, send, we'll send you a copy of the order. Okay. Mm, anything? It's good. it's good seeing you, Judge. It's been a long time, Judge. I hope yeah. the government is treating you well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's the way to go. <laughs> well, Thank happy, you. Happy, you. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. All right. Same to you. Yeah, we have no further business with the I All have right. no further business with the court. May I be excused? You send your order to Miss Carr. I definitely will. Okay. I put my information in the chat, Judge. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're excused. Thank you. Hey, let's have a